Resitrix application. You need the following tools to install Resitrix SKW full bond. A 50mm wide silicon pressure roller. A 6mm wide brass roller for detailing. Resitrix stainless steel scissors. A marker pen. A sharp knife. A measuring tape. And of course a handheld welder with an angled 40mm wide slot nozzle. The substrate should be clean and dry. The surface temperature must be 5 degrees Celsius or above. Any fasteners securing the substrate should be driven into the surface and not protrude. In the case of a concrete roof, the surface should be as smooth as possible with no peaks in the concrete which will damage the Resitrix membrane. Take note that concrete drying time must be observed. FG35 primer should be fully and evenly applied to the substrate. Take extra care to coat any angle changes and any perimeter details must be observed. Do not overprime the surface. The primer must be allowed to dry before applying Resitrix SKW membrane. The drying time is weather dependent and on the method of application. A spray applied primer will tend to dry quicker than a roller applied and an average time will be between 15 and 20 minutes or until touch dry. The Resitrix membrane should be rolled over the primer leaving the release film on the roll. Best results are achieved by completing the field areas first and forming the vertical sections and details as a separate operation. But the membrane can also be laid to encompass the vertical details, eliminating the work of forming flashings and additional welding. With the loosely laid Resitrix membrane in the correct position, fold back the end of the laid roll approximately one meter and remove the release film at a 45 degree angle to expose the film at the side of the roll when it is put back in place. Carefully peel away the release film from underneath the membrane and at the same time with a soft brush sweep the surface of the membrane from side to side extruding any trapped air which will ensure bonding to the substrate. To lay the subsequent rolls note the dotted line along the seam. There is a minimum 50mm width required for an overlap. It is also a useful guide to set your next roll of the membrane to the correct position. Before welding Resitrix seams, all the visible corners must be rounded. All seams and detailing on Resitrix must be heat welded using a hot air gun with a 40mm nozzle. This will ensure a thorough melt of the bitumen across the entire 50mm width. A welding temperature between approximately 500 degrees centigrade, level 8, and a maximum of 650 degrees centigrade, level 10, is to be selected for Resitrix seam welding. The ideal setting depends on the ambient temperature, weather conditions, and the quality of the substrate. Prior to the final weld, we recommend a pre-weld to prevent heat escaping from the lap. For the final weld, the nozzle is guided under the overlap, you should wait briefly until the bitumen starts to melt. The distance between the welding nozzle and the silicon pressure roller is approximately 20 to 40 millimetres. The roller should always be behind the nozzle by 20 to 40 millimetres. A visible bleed of 2 to 4 millimetres of bitumen will be seen along the seam of the membrane. If no bleed is present, it may indicate a bad or no weld. Flashings and details should also be welded from the vertical to the field area with a skirt onto the field area of approximately 80 mm. Although as mentioned, this could be formed with the vertical and field area combined. Internal corners can also be formed combined with the field area without any welding. Internal and external corners can be formed using offcuts from the Resitrix membrane, minimising wastage. Most details, such as pipe sleeves, man-safe posts and walkway pedestals, can be made from sizeable remnants of the membrane. We offer four variants of Resitrix membrane. Your representative can advise you on the best product for the application.